Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about saving pins using the browser button. Let's get started. Pinterest users are not only using Pinterest search engine to look for ideas and inspiration. They can be browsing the web, looking for new ideas like recipes, home projects, fashion ideas, or lifestyle improvement ideas. They might find some images on the web that they might be interested in saving as pins. But most images that you can find on the web don't have a save pin button like what you see on Pinterest. If people want to save any image that they find interesting on the web, they have to manually save it by making a right click on the image, then save it. Some blogs or websites include social buttons like Pinterest, Facebook, or Twitter that website visitors can click on if they find their images interesting and they would want to save the images as pins. Using a Pinterest button will allow website visitors to save it like they're on Pinterest. As you can see in this example, there's a new window where we can create a board, then save the image as a Pinterest pin inside the board. Then as you save it as a pin, you can see the pin here. But what if a website doesn't have a Pinterest social button embedded on their blog? What you can do is download a browser extension called the Pinterest Save button. The browser extension allows you to hover on any image that you want to save as one of your Pinterest pins. Also, it has a visual discovery technology that allows you to instantly discover similar ideas on Pinterest that are visually the same. The Pinterest browser button is available on different browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. Now let's try to download the extension for Chrome. Just go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Pinterest. Then choose Pinterest Save button. If you're using Firefox or Microsoft Edge, you can just do the same and follow the steps and look for the Pinterest browser button. This Chrome extension will now allow you to save the things that you find on the web. Now click Add Extension. Once you install the Chrome extension, you will see a quick overview of how to use it and save images. First, we need to click on the Pinterest icon in their browser. Click these three dots and choose more tools and click on extensions. So here are the extensions added to our Chrome browser. As you can see, the Pinterest save button is here. We want the Pinterest icon in this bar. So click the extensions icon here and enable the pin icon for the pin extension to be available in this section. Now let's try to use the Pinterest browser button. If you want to look for products to buy in the future, then we can save the image using the Pinterest browser button. You can just hover on any image here and you can see the Pinterest save button on top of the image. Now click on the red save button. Now you will see this window. You can create a board, then type in the board name, then click on the create button, then save it. You will see that our images have been saved on Pinterest. Now let's take a look at another feature of the Pinterest browser button. Let's hover our mouse again over the image. You can see this icon, which is the virtual search feature. This icon is the visual discovery technology allowing you to discover similar ideas on Pinterest. If you click on it, it will give you search results of pins that you may also find on Pinterest. This will allow you to search for photos the same as the image that you clicked on. From the search results, you can also use the Pinterest browser's button feature and you can save it or use the icon the visual search feature. You can keep on using the visual search feature to land on the image that you like. Saving pins outside Pinterest's platform can be possible when you use the Pinterest browser button. When you're browsing the web and find new places to visit, you can save the images on your travel board. If you're looking for recipes to cook later, you can save it on your board as well. If you're looking for house ideas to try, you can also save them on your board. And for articles that you'll want to read later, you can save them too. And lastly, for saving how-to guides that can give you ideas to do later, you can save it on your board as well. Now that you know about saving pins using the browser button, we can now proceed to the next topic, rich pins. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.